good morning to all of you uh, uh, today we are going to uh, discuss uh, the part 3 of the radar uh, the topic is the minimum detectable signal and receiver noise uh, this topic uh, is of msc third semesters of uh, physics students so first of all what is the de minimum detectable signal in simple way uh, we can say the weakest signal the weakest signal the receiver can detect is called the minimum detectable signal simple the weakest signal that means if the uh, weakest or the uh, uh, strength signal weakest, uh, weakest strength signal is coming uh, and uh, the radar is detected then this uh, signal is called the minimum detectable signal here we have a radar system a target this is the radar antenna so if the echo signal have minimum power that means the signal which is come from the target is a minimum power signal and is detected by the antenna then this signal is called the minimum detectable signal that means the power of this signal is very low or the minimum power this is very important things okay or we can say it the weakest signal the receiver can detect is called the minimum detectable signal and minimum detectable signal is represented by s minimum which we uh, which we already studied in last classes now if the specific uh, if we see about the specification or identification of the minimum detectable signal this is very difficult because the presence of noise actually the ability of a radar receiver to detect a weak, weak echo signal is limited by the noise energy occupying the portion of the frequency spectrum which is also occupied by the signal energy so due to the noise mean the thing is noise is also coming with the signals that is why it is very difficult to specification of a minimum det uh, detectable signals now uh, one thing is very important uh, about uh, to understand about the minimum detectable signal and this is called the threshold detection what is the threshold detection if the signal exceeds the threshold uh, then a target is assumed to be present this is known as the threshold detection that means the minimum uh, uh, minimum value of the or the minimum strength of the signal is required uh, uh, to detect if the uh, if the strength of the signal is below this uh, below a particular th th threshold value then signal uh, can't be uh, uh detectable so uh, this is very really, very important thing uh, threshold detection so <clears throat> if the signal exceeds uh, the threshold then a target threshold that means threshold value uh, threshold that means threshold value a target is assumed to be present this is known as the threshold detections so i think it is clear ki target uh, mein ek particular jo jo signals aa rahi hain us signals ki ek particular strength honi chahiye अगर वो पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रेंथ से कम स्ट्रेंथ की सिग्नल होगी तो वो डिटेक्टेबल नहीं होगी सो so, एक पर्टिकुलर थ्री सोल्ड वैल्यू यहां पर होती है सो so, अच्छा ये बात बताइए थ्री सोल्ड वैल्यू का आप सिलेक्शन कैसे करें कि कितनी थ्री सोल्ड वैल्यू सॉरी रखी जाए कि जिससे कि वो इजी हो तो ये डिपेंड करता है एक्चुअल में स्ट्रेंथ पे दिस इज डिपेंड इन द स्ट्रेंथ बेस्ड ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सिग्नल वी ऑलवेज सेलेक्ट द थ्री सोल्ड वैल्यू so if <clears throat> what happen if the strength of the signal is very high then threshold value should be chosen high so uh, if uh, the strength is high uh, suppose we know the strength is uh, nearly about the high then we choose the threshold value is high and if the strength of the signal is low then the threshold value should be chosen low simply uh, simple case now uh, uh, see this figure here the signal have the low strength because there are no many, many amplitude maximum amplitude is very low so we should choose the threshold is in this uh, blue color line threshold value choose in this portion so above above this all the signal can be detectable but below this uh, if we take if we want to uh, choose uh, um, here then we never choose or we never detect the radar can never de detect this signals okay uh, if we go for the uh, high so this is the high uh, high strength signal so we should choose uh, the peak value of this signals okay so we should choose this uh, violet color uh, line that means the threshold value above this 
uh, all the signals can be detectable by uh, radar but below this line this dotted line the signal never detected by the radar okay now uh, compare this uh, two things uh, in this figure it is clear we have a uh, uh, three points here uh, jet point is valid or not valid signal this is valid because this signals can be detected because the value of the jet signal is what jet point is what above the th that means above the threshold value y is also detectable or valid signal uh, because in point y is also detectable uh, this signal is also de detectable <coughs> because the value is equal to the threshold but here if we want to uh, want to find this uh, signal if you want to find this signal this signal and all the signals uh, have the peak value is the below the threshold that is why this never been uh, detected by the uh, receiver of the radar okay now come to the main important point another thing is the receiver noise actually noise noise is unwanted electromagnetic energy which interferes with the ability of the receiver to detect the de uh, desired signals okay now it may originate uh, within the receiver itself or it may entered via receiving antenna along with the desired signal receiver itself or receiving antenna along with the desired signals already it, it, it is present in the receiver so how can we rectify it it can be rectified by the noise free environment and perfect receiver okay that means uh, uh, kuch had tak isko hum uh, rectify kar sakte hain ki hum ye kahen ki jo environment hai wo noise free hai bhai aur jo uh, receiver hum use kar rahe hain jo antenna hum use kar rahe hain wo uh, perfect receiver or perfect uh, antenna but another thing is here there would be still exist an unavoidable component of the noise generated by the thermal motion of the conduction electron in the ohmic portion of the receiver input stage this can be never been uh, rectified so this is called actually the thermal noise or uh, due to the physicist johnson's noise okay so thermal noise or johnson's noise can never been uh, uh, rectified so it is directly proportional to the ohmic portion of the circuit and also to the receiver bandwidth so ohmic portion and receiver bandwidth so we can uh, find the uh, we can uh, present the mathematical portion of the thermal noise is will be kt b where k is the voltgemin constant t is the temperature and b is the bandwidth now to get the minimum noise in receiver what we have to do we have to take ideal temperature but ideal temperature is zero which is not possible but in room temperature 290k we can use so n can be right kt not b is called the noise power density so the minimum receiver noise is equal to kt not b now but but uh, practically noise is greater than a factor it is called the noise figure and represented by fn so what is the noise figure noise figure is the ratio of the snr of input uh, to the uh, to the snr of output now substitute this value uh, here we see the different parameter with noise and noise figure it is the measurement the uh, degradation in the signal to the signal to noise ratio so uh, fn equal to uh, input signal to noise ratio output signal to noise ratio after transferring Uh, we have uh, this point si upon so no upon ni now if you want to determine the value of the si uh, then we transfer this all things and we get up this value equation number 1 from minimum detectable signals uh, si is will be s mean so in the place of the si we write a s mean but for this output is also mean so we have to write so upon as no uh, s not n not is equal to s not n not mean So substitute this value uh, in equation number one. We have S mean is equal to what F n and I S not uh, and by n not into and uh, not subscript mean. So S mean uh, is equal to F n value of the n I in the last slides we already see this value. Uh, so this this is the equation number two of the minimum detail.
acceptable signals now a radar range equation can be right also in this form we have a radar range equation in here and we put the uh, value of the s minimum that means minimum detectable signal value here okay so uh, we represent the r max in another uh, form of the equation of the minimum detectable signal so this will uh, this is uh, topic today's topic is based on the minimum detectable signals and different parameter uh, with noise or receiver noise so i think uh, you are able to understand this topic by this uh, video thank you very much